Hi, Hi ladies. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very Great. Good. Thank you. Like Jessica was saying, you have so much under your belt. I'm an old school Blues Clues fan, like Team Steve. Yeah. <laughs> so, have and you been- my kids, what? I was saying good old Steve, huh? Yes, we love Steve. And then my kids, Jackson Music Show is also a massive ah! in our house too. So especially oh, with my you. son. So when I saw you on there, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so you kind of just talked about it with uh, Baby Box and the crafts. I love how there's layers to the show. Like there's a craft aspect or like a recipe. Like we watched the one where oh my gosh the the cupcake cat is so cute <laughs> like as soon as we saw it my kids were like oh my god I'm like I know but like you know he's yeah you know, she's singing about recipes and stuff like that will there be activities like on a website somewhere or like a book or something coming out that will kind of tie into all that because I love that 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 layer is there for kids because mine were like let me get some pipe cleaners and make a little you know string to lasso Thank around you. our right. Uh, (laughs) something that we you know when we're writing episodes that's one of our favorite parts is to make the activities things that kids can actually do at home when they you know are away from the screen that they're inspired to go and make things themselves whether it's a craft or a game that they replay in the playroom or a recipe with cakey um we're always keeping that in mind and i know uh dreamworks is very excited of extending the play on youtube Gabby has her YouTube channel, um, Gabby and Friends, and there'll be more crafts and printables and things to do um, to extend the play, for sure. One fun fact for a Blue's Clues fan is that Cat Rat is voiced by Donovan, who played Joe on Blue's Clues. Oh, that's awesome. (laughs) He's our Cat Rat. (laughs) So we We all love everybody in the the family. family. We're a family. (laughs) I love it. So my daughter, she's a teen, but we were watching it um, because we just had all that snow and we watched on our snow day and she was like, oh my God, I love this. Like she, (laughs) she loves like creating things kind of like Abby does with her like toys. She wants to work in animation and filmmaking one day. So great. Her question, she just popped in while I was waiting because she's (laughs) doing schoolwork and she goes, did you ask them about the cats? I was like, next. (laughs) Um, She wants to know how you came up with the different cats and who your favorite cat is and why. Mm -hmm. I think the cats, we love the idea that um, Gabby's dollhouse is kind of set up like a preschool, that there's the different areas of a preschool, the art area, the music area, the cooking area. Um, And we love that each area had a host to it and a character that you know was that expert of that room and who lived in that room and who would invite you in to play those games or ask those questions. Um, and I think it was the quirkiness, I think the fun we had was like, what cat could we have in each room? Um, and certainly we were excited about Cakey Cat and just the idea of who wouldn't love a little cat cupcake <laughs> and the differences of characters and personalities that you could have for sure. Even Pillow Cat of, you know, loving the daydreaming and the storytelling as a rolling uh, booster pillow. <laughs> booster. Yeah, it, was a, it was a real uh, <laughs> mix of personality and design, you know, like Pillow Cat's in the bedroom and she's shaped like a pillow and so she rolls, but move, infusing the growth mindset, mindset into that is it. That's her phrase is like, roll, with, roll it. with it, you know, so if something doesn't go your way, you just roll with it. So we tried to do that with every character is make their their design fit with their sort of what they do in their room and their personality and a, a growth mindset aspect. Um, and then Baby Box, I think, you know, being the crafty, riffic cat she is, you know, she's made out of a milk carton and a paper cup and paper towel rolls. Um, I would say she's my spirit cat or the one I love the most being <laughs> a creative and designer and uh, love crafting. Who's your favorite? Well, Gabby, Gabby was modeled after my daughter, Gabby, and um, I love to write and tell stories. And I think, you know, she's, she's such, you know, she's the caretaker and loves all of these cats in her dollhouse and is sort of the writer who brought them all to life. So I would say Gabby and Pandy and DJ <laughs> and It's Cat hard Rat. to choose. They're all our I kids. Know. Yes. 
They're all adorable. So Love them it all would be hard to choose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, my question this time is, I know in like Jack's Big Music Show and even in Blue's Clues, they would have some other humans come along. Um, will Gabby ever have any friends join her in the dollhouse? We shall see. We have not written that <laughs> to any episodes yet, but um, we love the idea of a of little brother coming, you know, or a relative coming and shrinking down with her. Um, it's all about uh, figuring out, you know, it, since we are in 3D, it's uh, a lot of work goes into it and it just takes a lot of creating each character. Yeah. So it's, a matter of that but we love that idea yeah. the idea of fun. seeing some, more of gabby's family yeah expanding the family especially if, like you were saying maybe the grandparents kind of passed it down yeah to see yeah. grandma or grandpa in the dollhouse right, yeah. Everyone, <laughs> grandma looking in gabby where are you yeah. <laughs> for sure thank you thank you